In Activity 8, Properties of Liquids, students are introduced to the properties of liquids. Students first examine water and then describe some of its properties and infer the properties of liquids in general. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 8, 1 ounce plastic cups, 8 ounce plastic cups, petri dishes, sorting trays, plastic vials, red food coloring, and plastic spoons. You will also need to provide red crayons, felt tip marker, paper towels, a pitcher, and tap water. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 8 for each student. Before class, fill a pitcher with tap water, add a few drops of red food coloring, and stir with the plastic spoon. Then fill eight one-ounce plastic cups with colored water. Make sure to have paper towels on hand during this activity so that students can wipe up any spills as they occur. Each team of four will need the following items in a sorting tray. An eight-ounce plastic cup, a petri dish top or bottom, a plastic vial, and a one-ounce plastic cup filled with colored water. Each student will also need a red crayon. To begin the activity, let students know that in this activity they are going to examine the properties of water. Borrow an 8 ounce plastic cup from one of the sorting trays and fill it with plain water. Hold it up to the class and have students describe the water in the cup. Ask students, what properties does water have? Students may respond that the water is clear, has no color, or is wet. Make sure to pour out the water and return the cup to the correct tray. Next, distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 8 and a red crayon to each student and give a sorting tray of items to each team. Inform students that you have added some food coloring to the water to make it easier to see. Then, have students complete question one of the activity sheet. Next, have the students pour the water from their small plastic cups into the other differently shaped containers on their trays. Each time students pour their water into a new container, they should also color in the level and shape of the water in the space provided in question two of their activity sheets. After students have had some time to experiment with the behavior of water, ask, what can you say about the shape of the water when you pour it from one container to another? Does water pour easily? A student should express that the shape of water changes when they pour it from one container to another, and that water flows easily from one container to another. Next, tell students to pour a small amount of water onto their trays and watch what happens. Encourage the students to describe how the shape of water changes as the water spreads across the tray. Stimulate a class discussion by asking, does water have a shape of its own? Is water easy or hard to move from one place to another? Guide students to conclude that water does not have a shape of its own, but rather takes the shape of the container it is in. Encourage students to think of other things that have the same properties of water. Use two examples, milk and orange juice, to serve as a comparison, and ask students, do milk and orange juice have the same properties as water? Students may suggest that milk and orange juice are wet like water, pour easily from one container to another, and take the shape of their container. Then ask students, what are some properties of milk and orange juice that are different from water? Students should say that milk and orange juice both have distinctive colors and smells, whereas water does not have a distinctive color or smell. Explain to students that water, milk, and orange juice are all liquids, and that although liquids can be different colors and have different smells, liquids all have several properties in common. All liquids are wet, pour easily from one container to another, and take the shape of their container. Record these properties on the Describing Properties chart under the heading Properties of Liquids. Finally, have students complete their activity sheets. Once students have finished their activity sheets, make sure to review student responses. To conclude the activity, rinse and dry the cups, petri dishes, and vials, and return all materials to the kit. Make sure to leave the Describing Properties chart on display in the classroom. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the science reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.